Okay, so we're supposed to simplify by factoring. So that means what? We're talking a square root here, which means power of 2. So we're looking for things that we can take the square root of, that we can knock this into things we can take the square root of. So we're going to look for factors that we can take the square root of out of this guy. And then for these two, we want to um, re get some powers here that are even. So that means this k to the 7, we're going to break him out k to the 6, which will be even, and then times k, and then this guy's already even, so we're good there. But let's see what we can find factor-wise for the 128. And to do that, we go over here with 128. We start doing this. 2 into 12 is 6. 2 into 8 is 4. 2 into 6 is 3. 2 into 4 is 2. 2 into 32 <coughs> is 16. 2 into 16 is 8. 2 into, nice 2. 2 into 8 is 4. And 2 into 4 is 2. Okay, so we're looking for two equal factors that will be the square root. So we see that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 twos. So that means to get these guys to be even, we are looking at these guys as one factor, these guys as one factor, and then we have that extra 2 left over. So 2 times 2 times 2 is what? 2 times 2 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. So that means that these guys are an 8. Those guys are an 8. And then we have this 2 left over. Therefore, what we're looking for here is 8 times 8 is 64 times 2 is 128. So that means we can take the square root of the 64. Okay, so that means now this becomes, the 128 now becomes 64 times 2. We just found that out. Then we're going to make the k7 to the 7th be a k to the 6th times k, k to the 1. That gives us k to the 7th. And then the q's already got an even numbered power, so we can just leave this as q to the eighth. Okay, so now we take the square root of 64 is 8, right? So that comes out, and we'll get rid of him. We take the square root of k to the 6, and that's what? k to the 6 over 2, which is k to the 3. K cubed. Okay. So that takes care of this guy. Then we take the square root of Q to the 8. Right? And again, if we think of this, the squared or the uh, yeah, square root here as a denominator of 2, right? Q, this to the 1 half, then this becomes 8 over 2, the same way that this was. If we think of k to the 6th as k to the 6th to the 1 half, this became 6 over 2, which gave us a 3. This now becomes 8 over 2, which gives us a 4. q to the 4th. And that takes care of him. What do we have left up there? We have a 2 and a k, right? So those guys will stay like this. The leftovers will stay under the radical. And there's our answer.